Hello guys, this is Sala and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to work with Keypress event. It's a very useful event, especially if you want to perform input validation. So in this tutorial we are going to study how Keypress event basically works and what are the properties and then we are going to perform some validations. The first thing we need to do here is attach our keypress event so i'm using only our text box as we are performing text box validation subscribe the event here in the event list you can find uh, keypress here now keypress event is subscribed and attached to the text box what will happen now when keypress is attached to the text box Every keystroke you make now is basically received by the key press before appearing in the text box. Or you can say that key press is basically sitting in the middle. And key press uses two properties the key card property and the handle property. Whenever you make a keystroke or you press any key, it is basically received by the key card property. And then handle property is gonna decide whether to accept it or not by default handle is set to false that means display character or receive any character when it is set to true means don't display character key press event only has these two properties you can check it out by yourself if you want just hold the control key and then click the key press event args and here you see the class and you will only find out these two properties it will make more sense when we perform these validations okay the first one is not a validation we will just print out the values of the key card and the handle in the message box we can write something like Okay, so we are just printing out the values. So run the program. I hit the Z and here you see the key card holding the Z. Okay, my keystroke and the handle property is false. That means character appears here. Okay, in the text box. So we are not filtering out anything. So this is how key card and handle works. And our First validation is allow a specific character. Let's suppose if you want to allow all, if you want to allow Z, so we can program like Now we're gonna set the handle true. So what we're doing here, we're saying that if the keystroke is not Z, capital Z, and if not small Z, then don't display, don't receive the key. So let's run the program. I am pressing the keys on my keyboard, but I am not able to write them into the text box as I hit the Z it appears and um, capital Z it appears so now I'm filtering out everything but accepting only the Z this is our first validation our second validation is allow a character range let's suppose if uh, we want to accept only character from A to D we can define a range here and we can write something Here we have a range so we are saying that if the character is not a b c d okay so don't display it but this is not so efficient 
I think. So what we can do instead, we can write something like This is the more efficient way to do that. If you type any character which is smaller than A and bigger than D, then we are not going to accept it. So let's run the program. We are receiving the character, the desirable characters, but we are not going to receive any other character. Okay. This is how you can define a range. Our max validation is to allow only letters in the text box and for that you can call predefined core method and the method name is is letter okay so let me show you first so what we're doing here we are using a predefined method is letter and this one is going to check if key core holding a letter or not and we are saying that if key car is not holding a letter then we are not going to display it let's run the program as you can see text box only accepting the letters and uh, i'm not able to put any space in between so what we can do here we can allow a space here as well Now our text box will work for both letters and the space. Let's run the program and write something here. Okay, so backspace is not working. I think we need to allow the backspace as well. We can expand the if statement and allow backspace. We can write Now our text box is going to receive letters, space and backspace. So let's run the program. I am able to write only letters, backspace and space are also working. So we perform this one, we perform this task, we perform this task. And now our task is to allow only numbers and here as well so you can just need to call a predefined method that is is digit now we are only able to write digits in the text box as well as space and backspace run the program i am accepting the digits It's quite simple. Now, what we can do if you want to interrupt and change the user input. Like suppose you want to intercept all dollar signs and replace them with pound sign. So you can write an if statement as okay. If the character is dollar sign then we are replacing it with pound sign let's run the program and check it out it's working fine it's good that was our last validation but when you perform validation using key press then you need to think about this one as well 
you have to inactivate copy and paste on the text box because copy and paste use clipboard and we are performing our validation using key press okay so we are still able to paste something in the text box let's suppose run the program as i type dollar sign it is being replaced by pound sign but i am still able to paste something in the text box like you see and this is not good so we are going to control this we are going to deactivate the right click menu or copy and paste in the text box and for that the text box have a property which is called shortcut ah, shortcuts enabled okay so you, you need to set this property to false now you are not able to right click on the text box let's run the program i am making right clicks but i don't see any right click menu here so in this tutorial we learned how to work with keypress event and we perform some important validations thanks for watching